Thank you, Mr. President. You know, I have been fighting for over a decade to establish a new summer nutrition program to help end child hunger. And I come to the floor today to celebrate the tremendous progress we have made in that effort. Because this year, legislation I fought to pass in 2022 based on my Stop Child Hunger Act will go into effect establishing a permanent summer nutrition benefit for struggling families. Summer EBT, Electronic Benefit Transfer. Basically, that means millions of parents who rely on free or reduced price meals to feed their kids during the school year will get help feeding their kids over the summer too. This has been a long time coming and it is a huge deal that now this program is becoming permanent. Child hunger isn't just something I've heard about from parents across my home state of Washington. It's personal to me. I remember what it was like when my family fell on hard times. When I was young, growing up, my parents had seven kids. It was never easy, but when my dad could no longer work because he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, it wasn't just hard, it was impossible. Fortunately for all of us, our country didn't just say tough luck. We got support. Food stamps helped put food on our table until my mom was able to go back to school and get a job. That was the difference between our family getting by or going hungry. And I want to make sure that we are showing up for families today in the same way. Because the painful reality is that right now, in this country, we have some 30 million kids for whom the free or reduced price meals they get at school are the difference between them eating a real meal that day or going hungry. And when summer comes, instead of feeling relief at getting a break from homework, many of these kids and their parents are worried about where they're gonna get their next meal until school starts again. It is heartbreaking that in the richest country in the world, this is unacceptable. That's why back in 2010, I helped fund the first of its kind pilot program for summer EBT at USDA. The idea is pretty simple. Create a program that gives families benefits they can use at the grocery store to help feed their kids over the summer. One of the pilot sites was in Vancouver, Washington. And you know what? The program worked. Those benefits decreased the number of kids with very low, low food security by about a third. And it supported a much healthier diet because they got more fruits and vegetables. So to build off the success of that pilot program, in 2014, I introduced my Stop Child Summer Hunger Act. Rigorous evaluations made clear that benefit worked. Still, even if it seems like common sense and basic humanity that kids shouldn't go hungry, it's been a very long journey to finally get this idea passed into law. I reintroduced my bill several times with different colleagues, and then the pandemic struck and threw struggling families into even greater food insecurity. Everyone here remembers the enormous number of cars lined up outside food banks across the country in the early days of the pandemic. So I started working with my colleagues to establish a temporary nutrition program to see families through that crisis in the relief packages that we passed during the worst of the pandemic. And in doing so, we were also able to show how necessary that kind of support is and how effective it is, and established a foundation that we then built on to pass a permanent summer nu nutrition program into law as part of our omnibus government funding bill at the end of 2022. And I have to pause and really, really thank my great friend and colleague, the senior senator from Michigan. She chairs the Senate Agricultural Committee, and she led on negotiating this big win for kids. Now, that bill is going into effect. And what it means for families is this summer, in participating states, like my home state of Washington, families whose kids qualify for free or reduced price school meals during the school year will receive a pre-loaded nutrition benefits card worth about $120 per child to buy groceries over the summer. And unlike the pandemic era program that we passed, this program is permanent. Those benefits will work similar to SNAP, which means parents can use them to buy food at grocery stores or farmer markets or more. 
In my home state alone, we're talking a half a million kids who can benefit from this program. That is a meaningful step towards ending child hunger in America. But as always, we have more work to do. No child should ever go hungry in the United States of America. And while I don't think that's a controversial idea, my message to all my colleagues who agree is that achieving this takes more than words. It takes action. That means giving a hand to families like mine that fell on hard times. It means making sure parents who rely on school lunches for their kids can keep them fed in the summer months. And fully funding WIC, which is a lifeline to so many women and infants. That is something I'm very focused on right now, and I will not let up until we see that through. So I'm here today not just to celebrate the important progress which I fought for years to make on fighting summer hunger, to make clear I'm not done fighting. I'm gonna keep pushing to make sure that no child goes hungry, no child, and every family gets the same kind of support that my family got when I was growing up. Thank you, Mr. President, I yield the floor.